Ping are back for 2021 with a seriously impressive putter lineup. We've got 11 different models to check out this year, and I have to say, I think the new models are some of their best looking to date. But will the performance match up? Let's go and find out. So across the 11 models we've got a real mix of styles. We've got three very traditional answer styles, we've got quite a lot of mid mallets and then we've got some of the bigger mallets. Now typically I always go for quite a big mallet but I've actually gone for a mid mallet this time and I've gone into the model that's been around for Ping for a while now and that is the Fetch. Yes the Fetch. It doesn't, it doesn't look anything like the other Fetches. I just love the way this looks though. Okay, so this is the previous fetch that we had in the Sigma. It was obviously very eye-catching because of this hole in the middle, and it's got kind of a lot of high-profile people using this. So we've got Lee Westwood and Brooke Henderson in this style. Now, Ping have actually still stuck with this on the bottom, and you can see that when I kind of hold it up like this. So we have got that signature kind of shaping on the sole. You can still pick a golf ball up with it, which a lot of people will be pleased to know, but I love the way they have restyled this. I just think the top of the club looks so good uh, particularly the alignment cues i love this solid white line across the middle i think it's great for aligning up so that was what really drew me to this model and i also really like the overall shaping and styling now another great thing about this range is ping are really helping you out in terms of getting you to pick the right putter to match your stroke all of these come with a recommendation a little sticker on the back that tells you if it's best for a straight stroke one with a slight arc or one with kind of a bigger arc I think that's really important in terms of people finding a putter that suits their game. Now typically I always use a single bend putter because I have a fairly straight stroke so that is what this fetch is typically suited for and you can see that in kind of the bend off run we've got in the shaft here. Now another thing I think Ping have absolutely nailed here is the colouring. This black finish just looks great and it really makes those white alignment cues kind of pop out but I also really like the little red detail on the front that just adds a little bit of pop to the club. Anyway. That's enough on how this looks, let's go and see how it performs. So the whole theme behind this range is more forgiveness, and that's thanks to really high MOI properties in these putters. And that comes down to how they're built, We've got multi-material designs in the head, so generally a mix of steel and tungsten. Now in this model, we've got a lot of perimeter weighting, and that's what's going to drive up the MOI and make this more forgiving. So really that's about stopping the face twisting, giving you a more consistent start line and also a more consistent roll. That centre line on the putter just looks so good over the ball, especially here where I've got a line on the ball as well. It just really matches on really well and kind of helps with that visual and alignment. This is quite interesting because I'd say the feel is slightly different on different lengths of putts and that is down to the insert we've got in here. So it's a dual material, so the front is softer and that gives you that really soft peel on your short putts, which I definitely really like. And then the back is a bit firmer, so that's going to help you out on those long distance putts and really with your pace control. I have to say it has an unusual sound as well. I definitely think it's a little bit more high pitched than I was expecting, but I don't really mind that at all. Now, although this has a really soft feel, it actually rolls out really nicely and you actually get a little bit of extra run than you would expect coming off that soft feel. So I definitely think in terms of pace control, that's really important because I was worried with the softer feel that it might not release as much, but it's definitely not the case at all. Another thing I really like here is this grip I've got on, and this is one of three different options. So this is the largest. I prefer that because I feel like I can control the face a little bit better. So this is the PP58S. You can go for the more traditional Tiger Woods style grip, which is the smaller one, and there is a mid-size option in the middle too. 
So this is flat on the front and then curved around the back and I really like the way that sits in the hands. I also think it's a really good size. But for me, the best part is this detail on the front and that kind of traditional ping logo with the little ping man. I just think it looks great. For the size of this putter head, this feels super stable. It really feels to me like a much bigger mallet in terms of performance. And I also would say it feels quite, not heavy, but definitely there's enough weight to it. Sometimes with this kind of putter, they get too light and you don't really feel like you can control the face. So I really like the weighting of this overall. <laughs> Best part, if you do that, you can just pick it up and try again. On that note, they've actually improved the shaping of this, so it's really easy to get the ball in and out now because you've got this extra kind of circle at the back, so you can just get your finger in to pull it out, which is definitely a lot easier than what we saw in the last fetch model. <sighs> Pretty consistent. I think I might put this in my back. Now, another really cool thing about this range, you can customize how much loft is on your putter. Yes, loft, you heard that correctly. Now, if you're thinking about how much loft is on your driver, you should really be considering how much is on your putter because this really affects all the launch conditions and how your ball sets up on the green. Now, the reason you need loft on your putter is because when the ball's set on the green, it's not actually set on the top of the surface, it's set in a slight indentation. So the loft on your putter allows it to lift up and get onto the rolling. So getting the right amount of loft relative to your stroke and also the length of the green is really important to get that ball rolling quickly and get a good true roll on the ball. So it's really worth getting fit in terms of loft and lie angle, which can both be customized in this range. I just love the looks and the feel of this putter. It's really rolling so good. I can't really get over just how much I like this putter. First off, I picked this on visuals and I still love the way this looks, especially now I've had the chance to get it behind a golf ball, especially one with a line on. I just really like the way that works. But in terms of performance, I'm also super impressed. I love the feel, it rolls out really nicely, but really this feels super stable, especially for the size of it. And you've also got that extra bonus that you don't really need to bend down and pick your golf ball up. Honestly, this putter has got me seriously torn. I didn't think I was going to change my putter this season, but I might have to reevaluate that decision now. Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions about any of the putters in this ping lineup, feel free to put a question in the comments below or drop me a line on Twitter or Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.